Hello, my name is Steve. I'm a renal technician. I'm just going to explain to you today the valve board assembly, the softener, and the RO, just as a recap for people who uh, may have forgotten a couple of bits about it. Okay, now the valve board assembly itself, uh, first of all, you will have your water in coming through this fluid pathway. Uh, this should always be off when you're not using it, just in case you do have any leaks. Uh, it passes along this fluid pathway into the softener. Uh, the softener does what it does, I'll explain to you in a minute, and it will then put the fluid to the valve board assembly. Now, your bypass valve will always be closed unless we tell you otherwise, uh, so therefore the water will either go to your test point for when you need to test whether your water is hard or soft, or it will go to your 2 RO valve, which again will be closed unless you're on, on dialysis or about to go on dialysis. Um, so after it goes through that valve, it will, it will pass through this leak detector, uh, which is connected to a little pad on the floor, uh, and that will stop the fluid from this point onwards in case you have any major leaks. Um, it will then pass through a, a carbon filter to take out any chlorine in the water. Uh, and then put this water to the RO, which will take out any more impurities. The RO will then pass the water up to this valve, which you will then turn on, and that will then go to your dialysis machine. Now, your water softener is, um, it only needs to be turned on and plugged in uh, when you're actually regenerating it. The regenerating takes uh, two hours for a white softener and an hour for the silver softeners. Um, in general, you would like about six to eight inches of salt, so about that sort of height between there and there. Um, and that will usually be filled with uh, two inches of water on top of that. Um, when you are regenerating it, uh, which is once a week, uh, you turn on your power and you'll get a light up here um, and all you need to do is make sure that your water is on here and then you push in this red, red button. Okay, You'll hear a, a click and then a couple of seconds later you'll hear another click. That is usual, it's supposed to do that, it just means that it started its cycle. Um, we would suggest after an hour you come back and check that this arrow on here is pointing upwards just to make sure it is regenerating properly. Um, and this red light should be on all the time it's regenerating. Now, we would suggest that you don't go out while this is regenerating in case it does flood. So for example you want to pop to the shops. We would suggest you don't do that because it will cause a lot of mess. Um, and as soon as this has finished regenerating, all you need to do is stick your covers back on and turn off your power. Now you can then turn off your water in and that's done, that's that done. Again, we'd, we'd like you not to do either of these on a dialysis day. If you are to do it on a dialysis day, then please make sure it's afterwards rather than before dialysis in case you do come up with any problems. <coughs> now the RO unit stands for reverse osmosis, uh, which effectively means that it, it purifies the water uh, so you get ultra clean water coming to your dialysis machine. Um, this needs to be cleaned uh, once every two weeks with either row clean 2 or row clean 5. We'd like you to alternate them, but it's not vital that they are. Um, when you are cleaning this, you need to make sure that you have your water in tap on, your 2 RO valve on, and every other valve closed or off. Uh, you can turn the power on and you come up with a screen like this which has menu and start on it and just tap the menu button and you get another list of menus. Now the one that's highlighted will say 
clean routine and you'll then press enter on there. I'm not going to do it for the purposes of this video because it will take me quite a while. Um, but we will also give you a sheet of paper like this which will have every instruction step by step that you can read through. If you lose at any point don't worry you can contact us and we'll give you another one. And the RO itself will also come up with the steps, step by step instructions. After you've done all of this make sure that you do turn it off, turn off your water at every point. just so that you don't get any leaks. Um, the only thing I would say is that after you've done a regeneration of your softener, please make sure that you check that your water is soft afterwards because we don't want you come doing, doing your softener on a Saturday or Sunday, going to dialyse on a Monday, finding that your water is hard and then ringing us up when you could have checked it the day before and then rung us up and we could have come out to you. Um, aside from that, good luck.